what you're about to see is both shocking and sad because at just 12 and 13 years old, police say these kids are already career criminals. What are you going to do, Pat? you. You're in a stolen car with two kids barely old enough to be in high school. 12 and 13 years of age, a brand new, relatively new Ford Ranger. You can see here he's you know, struggling to keep control of the vehicle. And it's a pity we can't show their faces because you can see how young they are. <laughs> you can't run into a tree. Head. Here he is laughing because he's just seen a police vehicle smash into a tree and they're laughing and they're, 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 they're broadcasting this live on social media to all their followers. Oi, we got up, Dan Purdy is a former cop who's now the state MP for the suburbs where this chase took place. They have no regard at all for anyone else, any other road user. Um, they know when they get caught they'll be back out again tomorrow night doing the same thing. And they were. Even though they were caught this time, a police intelligence brief shows the 12-year-old was back out breaking and entering within a week. Most nights of the week, they're, they're breaking into houses. They often steal multiple cars from the same house. As you can see there, you know, high-powered BMW, 200, you know, 10 kilometres an hour plus. On Instagram, there are pictures of the two young offenders and their mates with high-end cars, and on this occasion, a wallet full of cash. They even video themselves breaking into someone's house. A police report on the 12-year-old driving during this chase last April says it's highly likely that <laughs> levels of offending will continue to increase. 12 months on, we've got the same offenders. Their behaviour has escalated. It's a miracle that they haven't killed someone. And it's not just these kids that are doing it. This is happening across Queensland, night after night. Like, one of them's tried to hide his face, but the other one's just got no shame whatsoever. Tradie Jamie Franklin's work ute was stolen from his place on the Sunshine Coast and driven two hours north to Bundaberg. We know this because the thieves, two 17-year-olds and one adult, videoed it all and put it on social media. Someone tipped Jamie off and he could watch it happen almost in real time. Posting his, his location and telling everyone where they're going in, in my ute. The car thieves even went bush bashing in Jamie's ute and wore his work clothes. It was a bit shocking really like to, to boast about it saying that and, and wearing my work clothes as well which is just disrespectful. Brother, we up stealing work utes and stealing their clothes, brother. Jamie did get his ute back, but says he lost all his tools. I've lost two days work and all my tools, and he's written a reply saying, think yourself lucky you've got a ute with a full tank of fuel. Just, just utter disrespect. Police told Jamie the fuel was stolen in two drive-offs, and a week later the same teenagers allegedly stole another car after assaulting its owner. Police deployed stingers and the car crashed. Officers making this dramatic arrest a short time later. <laughs> judicial system that's letting everything down. After the deaths of three people and an unborn baby in one week, allegedly as a result of juvenile car thieves, the Queensland Government has introduced tougher laws. But Dan Purdy says locking up repeat offenders is still the last resort, and a proposal to make kids over 16 wear ankle bracelets won't stop kids like these who aren't even 15. And this is the age group of the, co the cohort of offenders that are doing this type of offending night after night. Either keep them locked up, put them through a program, or even better yet, if they're still youths, um, penalise the parents.